this is a game changer. Hi, I'm Discipline Dave, where I put the technique in your physique. That's right, working out your traps will change everything in your fitness. It did for me. I was one of those people that really ignored working out your trap muscles or your back muscles because people can't see it. But the thing is that this is everything when it comes to working out your upper body. Not only that, just an everyday task. Working out your traps will help you even when you're just carrying groceries because those are the muscles that you're using to do that with. And if you don't work out your traps, here's what's going to happen to you. If you're working out your biceps, if you're working out your chest, whether you're in bands or weight, you're gonna reach a time where you're gonna plateau because you haven't really built up those upper back muscles to stabilize yourself. So this is very important that you really do work out your traps. So I'm here to help you with that today. So make sure that you really pay attention to the form and technique of each exercise. Don't worry about the sets and the reps just when you first watch the video. I'm gonna make sure at the end that I incorporate how to do sets and reps and I'm gonna give you a weekly schedule to follow to incorporate that with. Just make sure that you pay attention to the form and the technique. Now, for those subscribers out there, I just wanna let you know that I put up a poll on the community board. So if you watch the channel, make sure you check that periodically because I have a poll going up right now so I can make sure I can make the best videos that you want to see. So some of the questions on the poll are about if you only wanna see resistance bands, if you wanna see other equipment like kettlebells, dumbbells, pull-ups, or you wanna just use resistance bands, but every now and then you wanna just see something here. So I put up a poll. There's about 270 people that have voted already, but we need some more votes. So if you're watching right now, make sure you do that so I can make the best videos for you. So now that we know that the traps are important and you're gonna go ahead and vote on that poll, the only thing left is for us to go ahead and work out. So let's grab our bands and go ahead and get started. All right, so we're gonna first begin by putting our door stopper at the bottom of the door. So grab it and you wanna go a bit heavy on this first exercise. And we're gonna put it right here at the bottom. Just slide it on in. All right. Now, I want us to begin by just doing a bit of a warm up so we can feel that mind muscle connection when it comes to the traps because it's very important for this. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn around and I'll show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a little warm up of trap raises. A lot of people know those shoulder shrugs that go straight up, but here we're coming back at as an angle and we're squeezing that upper back of those shoulder blades. I just want you to feel that. All right, now that you have that feeling, we're gonna go straight into the exercise and grab our bands. All right. And then I want you to get start off with some tension here. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing with resistance. Gonna come up and squeeze. That's right. Now, as I said before, we don't wanna do shoulder shrugs, which you most commonly see, where we're just going straight up. Here we're going back at an angle and up. So just look at that angle. And then you wanna squeeze as hard as you can when you come up to the top, and slowly let it down. If you need some more resistance, feel free to step back a little bit more, get some more resistance, and squeeze. And that's a good tip there if you wanna add some more resistance. That's the good thing about bands. If you're in the middle of lifting weights, you gotta stop, put on some more weights. But with bands, you're gonna take a little bit step back and whoo, it gets harder. All right. Now on this next exercise, what you wanna do is I want you to take your bands and consolidate them into one handle. The bands I'm using today are by Toro Bands. You don't have to use these bands, you can use any bands. But if you wanna follow along with the workout and you're looking for some good bands, I recommend these, these are my favorite. But you're just gonna go ahead and put it on one handle like this. And you're gonna step back and get some tension, all right? I'm gonna start with the uh, with the other side so y'all viewers at home can see that first. So I'm starting off with tension and I'm doing the same thing as before, but we're doing it individually. 
So we have control of both sides of our traps. So same thing, angle up, just like that. And you're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades. I'm using my other hand to stabilize myself as I go up and squeeze. So it's like you're pulling back and you're having a slight pivot. This gives us more range of motion with the trap to really contract it when you're doing it individually. All right, keep, make sure those feet are planted and you're just squeezing each side just like that. And then when you're done with that side, we're gonna go ahead and switch over. Feel that contraction, all right? And as I said before, it's very important that you do great technique and great form of these exercises. And that's the key to really developing your traps. Just like this, just pull and squeeze. As you see, my bands are still at a more heavier resistance. If you're still not feeling that burn there, just step back a little bit, get some more tension. It's equivalent of adding about five to seven pounds. All right. Just like that. All right, so this time, I want you to go with one of your lightest bands, especially if you haven't done this before. This could be a little bit uh, more difficult for people who are not used to this exercise. It's not about if I'm more muscular or not, but if you're not used to it and your body isn't, go ahead and just begin with the light bands. So I have a light band on here. I have my two handles, all right? And I'm going to make sure that I stand upright and I'm gonna contract my traps. And then what we're gonna do is just go straight up just like this and slowly come down. Straight up, right here, right there is what you want where you're going and you're squeezing those traps and you're coming down. <sighs> That's right. Straight up to the sky, just like that. Now, one thing that it's very important that you need to be doing right now is hitting that like button. Mrs. Discipline Dave and I, we put a lot of work in this video to make it sure that you can understand how to make sure you have the right technique when doing this. And we would really appreciate it if you hit that like button. All right, so you notice how my wrists are. These handles are rotating as I come up and then my wrists are facing backwards when I go all the way up. Woo, I'm feeling it. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling it. All right. This is really working out our upper and middle traps. Just like that. All right, so this time I've added some more resistance. You can go pretty heavy on this exercise and we're gonna put our door stopper right around armpit height. And I've said this on previous videos. If you're asking yourself, Dave, why am I going up, down, up, down? Well, I make sure that most people have like a door stopper like this at home, but I think it's a good investment to get a door anchor. So when I'm working out at home, that's what I use, the uh, ultra door anchor. And it makes it so you have multiple points on the door so you don't have to keep moving them every time. And it makes the process a lot more seamless. But this channel is for you, and it's all about making sure that I can help the most people as possible, and most people have this here. All right, so now you're at armpit height, okay? And you're gonna start off with tension, and what we're gonna do is, is a trap row. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back, and we're gonna squeeze right here, and you're just gonna feel those traps. What I don't want you to do is a full row where you're coming all the way back with your elbows. So notice that distance with the elbows. That's the wrong way. And here, this is the right way. We're just squeezing those traps, those scapula muscles. That's all we want in this. We just really want to target that. 
and that's gonna really help us get our middle to lower traps. All right, so we just wanna squeeze. And I'm telling you, this will be a game changer for you in everything you do as far as fitness. They're underutilized and they're so important for stability in other exercises. All right, so notice right here, way my hands are positioned. These handles are up and down and we just squeeze in just like that. Just pull and squeeze. All right. All right, so now what we're gonna do is, I want you to go with a light band and we're gonna put our door stopper at the top. And if you're a subscriber of the channel, you know this is one of my favorite exercises, okay? So let's see if you can guess what it is. All right, we're about to get into it, I'll just tell you. All right, so we're gonna do face pulls, but we're gonna do face pulls at a little bit more advanced level. This is gonna be a face pull lift, okay? So it's gonna really combine another exercise that we did earlier with, uh, with this face pull. Now, the technique is crucial in this exercise. Most people do it wrong, all right? So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna begin with tension. You're gonna get those hands up, all right? And then you're gonna come back like this, all right? I want you to look at my wrists, look at my elbows like this. What most people do wrong, don't do this, they lead with their elbows like that. But we don't wanna do that. We wanna come and rotate those hands, all right? And once you're in this position, here's the part that I love. We're gonna come straight up, all right? Feel that squeeze here, release. Come back, squeeze those shoulder blades, keep that tension, up, boom. Two movements, bam, bam. Oh, there we go. Bam. Oop, hold on. I did that one a little bit wrong. Okay. Bam, bam. Rotate, squeeze. All right. And if you feel this exercise, I want to hear it in the comments. I want you to go bam, bam in the comments. All right. Again, rotating those hands, squeezing that back. Maintaining tension, coming back. Talk about game changer exercises. This was one for me. All right. And there we go. Now let's talk about how we're gonna fit this workout into our weekly schedule. I recommend working out five days a week with two days rest. Make sure you take those rests, they're very important. Now, on that first day, I want you to work out your biceps and your triceps. On the second day, I want you to work out your chest and your traps. On the third day, I want you to work out your shoulders and your back. And on that fourth day, I wanna make sure that you work out your legs and your calf muscles. And then on that final day, I wanna make sure that you work out your abs and your forearms and don't forget to take your rest. Now, with the exercises we did today, I want you to do three sets of each exercise with 15 to 20 reps, all right? And then in between each set, make sure you rest for a minute. Now, now that we know where we're going, you wanna make sure that you go ahead and do this workout in combination with, what do we say? with your chest. But the video is actually coming up next, so make sure that you go ahead and check that out directly after this workout and do incorporate all the other workouts with your workout routine. I have a whole playlist for you that's also gonna be up there, so you can make sure you can finish all your workouts throughout the week. And make sure you hit that notification bell for the next workouts that are coming up.